For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, just a quick word of note, my face cam footage for the first two games unfortunately corrupted, the, the file corrupted and I couldn't get it back, but there is face cam for the third game, so just a little heads up, that's why there's no face cam for games one and two, but there is for game three. Heading into the episode now though, enjoy it. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 17 of season 4 here in the career mode Road to Glory. We're actually into March now. There were just the two games in the month of February. The Leicester one has been moved. So we played Chelsea and Sunderland yesterday. Today we'll face Middlesbrough, Leicester and West Brom. And that will move us from March into April where there's a number of games. And uh, we've a handful in May as well with the final game of the season coming away from home against West Ham at the Olympic Stadium uh, just two days before my birthday. So uh, who knows where we'll be by that point. We currently sit uh, fourth in the table with a game in hand on Chelsea and Arsenal above us. We could go above Chelsea should we win that game in hand. But Everton and Spurs are right behind us. And uh, to be fair, West Ham aren't that far away either. Stoke played actually two games more than us now there on 38 points. Manchester City's revival continues and Liverpool continue to sit down in, uh, in 14th place. So not going too well for them so far this season but we'll start with Middlesbrough and we'll just try and build on the good in fact the very good result and performance against Sunderland at the end of yesterday's episode and hopefully we can consolidate our position in the top four or five drop the video a like if you enjoy subscribe to the channel too if uh, you haven't already to make sure you don't miss out on anything else but we'll start with a trip to the riverside he's reached down the left again for Middlesbrough here into foreshore Davinson Sanchez with him uh, can't stop the cross because it wasn't really a cross and they're going to pick up a corner because Trippier can't keep that in We've already had the one chance although it wasn't really that good a chance considering he put it into the roof of the stand But they're going to get a secondary corner here for a secondary effort on goal uh, That one just as poor as the first to be fair and now they're going to get a third corner Need to improve their delivery here Reach trying again can he actually find a teammate this time? He put a lot more on it, but it's Watson that's gone up and claimed it. Diallo offs the free kick forward. And Reach wins the header. Quite simple for Watson there to claim the ball. Here's Paredes. Greco's made the run around the outside. Greco starting on the left on the right hand side, sorry, of midfield in this one. Rubelov just cheek. Oh, good save by Jose Sar. Greco starting on the right hand side with Mbapp Lotan starting on the left hand side of midfield in this one. Navarrete whipping that corner in. Unfortunately, it's aimed towards Greco, who's not going to be winning any headers, but we'll get that to Paredes. And oh, not really got the quickness of feet there to dance around anyone, but we'll get that in there to Lino Navarrete. He's got the quickness of feet to get past people. We'll try, oh, it's supposed to be a Berber spin to get him in the box, but he's still going well, and Lotan can't get his shot off, so never mind. Lozano back to Ruben Loftus cheek. Paredes into Lozano again. Out wide there to Lotta, who's starting on the left-hand side of midfield today. Got that in there to uh, Lozano again. It's good footwork. The shot is well blocked. Unfortunately, nobody's there to try and turn in a rebound. Diallo's won that header, but Lotta will get back to it. Watson with a big smack upfield. Navarrete will win the header somehow. Not entirely too sure how, but he did it. So that's all that matters. Oh, the footwork from Greco. That was ridiculous. Give this to Lozano. Try and get past the defender and shoot across goal. I got caught there. Penalty given. We have the chance in stoppage time at the end of the first half to get ourselves the lead from the penalty spot. Pushing around the outside there, Lozano. The defender went to block the shot. I think he may have gotten a large chunk of the ball there as well as the man. But the spot kick was given and Lozano will step up to give us a 1-0 lead. Not the best of penalties, but the keeper delayed with his dive for some reason. You can see the away fans celebrating in the far corner. Not many have travelled up to the northeast, but that doesn't matter. We have ourselves a 1 0 lead here. Win that header. Well up, Kieran. Nice header there. And Lozano is in a forward position. He won a penalty in a similar position earlier on, but he doesn't need the spot kick this time around. Burying this one. A 2 0 lead. Anthony Lozano picking up both goals. We've got a free kick in a very central position, so I'm kind of tempted to play it short, to be honest. Because just lofting that into the box isn't really going to get us anywhere. But Paradez can have a shot here from the edge. And that will get us a corner, which gives us a better angle for a delivery. Uh, Navarrete will take it. 
I'll try and whip it in towards that edge of the six yard spot and that's where it went but unfortunately they cleared it away so we'll try again. Navarrete will whip it in and Jake Clark settles underneath that. Oh what a thumping header and Lozano's chest control is just so unfortunate that it bounces as, almost as far back off his chest as the ball did off the woodwork in the first place. Wonderful header from Jake Clark Salter. He's so desperately unlucky not to have given us a 3 0 lead there and picked up a very, very high quality goal. They almost played uh, a man through there to make it 2 1 at the other end, but Paredes, nice turn there actually. Out to Antonio. Lozano's making a run, so we'll poke it to him. On a hat trick, of course, Anthony Lozano. Is that a free kick there? Unfortunately not. Oh, what a ball, by the way. Onside here as well, Victor Fisher. Now we're in trouble. That's a good delivery too. Trippi has gotten there though and will head it away and Navarrete will hopefully complete the clearance but he hasn't been able to. A reach turns but his shot is rather poor. Oh wow, that got rather end-to-end -end all of a sudden. We very nearly made it 3-0 and then they had an opportunity to pull one back. We'll stay at 2-0 though. Greco, Paradis is making a great run forward and Lozano's there. He's on a hat-trick but will be unselfish and help it on and here's Mikhail Antonio to not give us a 3-0 lead but Navarrete will. Was he onside? The answer is yes. Oh, he just means not the tallest, doesn't have the longest of legs. And that was bouncing as the keeper palmed it down. But he just got there, Navarrete. It was up in the air and he swivels nicely to turn it home. That's a couple of times he scored goals with great technique like that this season, Lino Navarrete. Proving he's worth every bit of his 88 rating. We lead by three goals to nil against the side away from home in the northeast for the second game in a row. Here comes Mikel Antonio on the counter-attack. We'll try and utilise that speed and turn inside. Lozano's there. He's actually going to pick up on it here. No, he's on a hat-trick, so I will shoot with him. Oh, and he's hit the bar. Greco with a follow-up header. Uh, it was offside anyway. Oh, I feel sorry for Anthony Lozano there. That should have been three, uh, three goals for him and 4-0 for us. But unfortunately, it just wouldn't quite drop for him. Never mind. There's barely any time left in the game. Now three minutes added on. And Middlesbrough aren't going to really cause us any more problems, I don't think. Unless, no, they're not, because there's the final whistle. 3-0 victory away from home against Middlesbrough, following yesterday's 3-0 victory away from home against Sunderland. So, apparently, the North East is a very happy hunting ground for us. We'll head back now to Cambridge, and we'll play the next game, which I think was midweek against Leicester. So, we'll see how we get on. McLaren to Murphy, into Joel Osoro. Just burst away here. Turn back, lay that into McLaren. Ah, oh, puts that into the stand, unfortunately. He wants to leave, Jamie McLaren. He's desperate to leave, so I thought I'd give him a start here to see how he can get on. I'm actually playing, I've called up the young uh, guy from my youth team, Murphy, now. He's got a 78 short passing and 75 stand tackle, so I'm hoping that perhaps with a little bit of first team football now, he might be able to start to grow. He's got high attacking work rate and low defensive, which is a bit of a shame considering it looks like he could be growing into quite a decent central defensive midfielder. But uh, I'm hoping that with some first team football now, we might be able to uh, get ourselves a little bit of extra growth out of him. And maybe that would save us the money on having to buy another central midfielder when the new window comes around. We'll have to wait and see, of course. But Murphy has been called up and also that has... Uh, fulfilled a criteria in the board objectives as well, which I'll, I'll confirm for you either after this game or at the end of the episode. So uh, you can see that we've now completed uh, one of the two youth objectives from the board, which is good because I needed to start doing some board objectives because we had a handful that were already uh, X'd out, most notably the uh, FA Cup expectation, where obviously we got knocked out. Was poor. We got knocked out earlier than we uh, wanted to. So. You will have seen from earlier in this episode that my manager rating was so low that we were in the red at 66. I'm hoping now that we've uh, completed that objective and can continue to get positive results in the league that we might be able to get ourselves back out of the red and into uh, not necessarily the green but into a positive area. Oh, it's going to give me the free kick there just as Jamie McLaren burst past the man. And I'm not sure... If anyone in this team can take free kicks, Zedos has got half decent free kicks and it looks like it's going to be him to take it. It's a bit close. It is a bit close, but I will try and get it up and down if I can. Went around the wall in the end, but unfortunately, straight at the keeper. That into an Palace Mendy. Get the tackle in with Bennett there. Give that to Bradley Halliday. Back into Aidan Murphy. Zedos across there to Roussillon. Not really been able to threaten them too much so far. 
I would like to try and get myself in front sooner rather than later, considering I'm playing a weaker side, so I'm not as confident as I would be with my main team. So the longer the longer things go on at nil nil, the more apprehensive I'll be about not being able to get in front. And well, that is just really, really bad luck. Joel Osoro has run off celebrating, but that is most definitely, most definitely an own goal from Kasper Schmeichel. Stuck his leg out there to block the cross, and unfortunately for him, it's deflected into the back of the net. Jamie McLaren might have turned it home anyway, but unfortunately for the Dane, that's going into the back of his own net. We lead by a goal to nil. I've got that early lead I was hoping for. It's a lovely ball into Osoro. Got Jamie McLaren running on this side. Can we make it 2-0 just after we've made it 1? Yes, we can. Squeezed it home underneath the keeper. Two quick-fire goals here. That looks like the game will probably be sealed out already after just half an hour. I don't see Leicester coming back from this. We may even go on to score a couple more if possible. Just try to squeeze it home underneath him. Casper Michael, after putting it into the back of his own net, has now conceded two in almost as many minutes. Murphy into McLaren. Osora's made the run. And, well, he's going to have the pace to get away, isn't he? He got caught there as well, and the referee's pointed to the spot. Not sure whether... He's probably going to send him off as well, actually, judging by the way he's trotted over there, and he is going to send him off. Daniel Lamate, Leicester down to 10 men after 37 minutes, and they're already 2-0 down. I got my shot off, and I think it was a genuine attempt to get to the ball, but it was a bit of a lunge. I don't know whether that should be a straight red, though. I mean, take the context of the game into account should maybe just give him a yellow but unfortunately for Daniel Amate he's off and unfortunately for Leicester they're not 3-0 down oh I held my breath there but that was a great save from the keeper onto the post oh and I couldn't quite feed that into uh, Murphy on the edge of the box well they've made a substitution to bring on Vezo so they've replaced the hole at the back by bringing on another centre-back that wasn't meant to go to Shedo, so it's meant for Joel Osoro. Well, we could have made it 3-0, but we haven't. Mahrez down the line to Danny Drinkwater. Could get themselves back in this, and he's done well to turn that back to Riyad Mahrez, who's gotten it across the box to Kaputska, who's turned well. Oh, I've committed to the challenge, now I've given away a penalty. I could have sworn Kaputska was going to shoot there, so I threw myself in to try and get a block on it with Harry Darling, and he's laid it off to a teammate. I mean, I would have shot in that situation, which is why I went to block it with the defender. But unfortunately, he's not gone that well at all. Right, Riyad Mahrez with the pen. He's gone, oh, the same way I did. And Leicester, 10-man Leicester, have pulled one back. Roussillon wants to get in behind him, Mikel Antonio, but they're marking him tightly. Look at that to Joel Osoro. Murphy's there. I'm, I'm torn at the minute. Because they have 10 men, my brain is like, well, just go and score more goals. But then the other side of my brain is like, well, they've already scored one because they forced you into a decision. Oh, we nearly scored a third there. Because they forced me into a decision that actually led to them getting a penalty. So I don't know whether I should overly commit to trying and scoring, to trying and scoring a third. Because if I get caught on the counter and they pull it back to 2-2, then I've completely thrown away what was... A pretty simple victory so I don't know what to do at the minute especially when they've got the pace of Musa on the counter-attack I don't think Vardy is still at Leicester in this save I think he's transferred but I might be mistaken Murphy you can see that just the pace of Musa there just causing me all sorts of problems but Murphy will get this inside here to Osoro they're not the only ones with an absolutely rapid striker so uh, oh if only McLaren had kept that run going he did in the end but I can't get it to him so I don't know what to do here I think I might go for the or oh, ref. I, th I think I might go for the just slow things down, be methodical, try and work a third, but don't give them the opportunity to catch you on the counter and score a second themselves option. And then hopefully, if I'm just patient in my build-up, space will open up and we'll be able to get a third goal. But Ernan's going to have to shoot better than that if we are. Or Brighton, over the top, looking for Jeffrey Schlup. Benyat wins the header, but it's only as far as Luis Hernandez. Going to drive in towards the box here. And slots through all Brighton who lays it off Moose. What a save by Watson. That is exactly why he's now in the starting lineup ahead of Cooper. Why have you back healed that, Benya? I'm getting nervous here. I'm actually legit getting nervous against 10 man Leicester. What is going on? James leaves that back to Ruben Vezo. Into Beneluane. But Hernan steals it. Right, now seal the game out. Got someone coming in support. Give it to McLaren. And bang. 
Three one. Right, game over then. Thank you. Oh, the nerves have dissipated. Three goals to one. We are going to get the victory. James over the top. Good header by Harry Darling. May have given away a penalty earlier on to give them their goal, but we are going to get all three points. A 3-1 victory against 10 men that actually was a lot harder than it necessarily should have been. But fair play to Leicester for continuing to fight hard. Chelsea draw 2-2 with Man United. They're two teams above us. Arsenal draw 2-2 with Palace. So at the top of the table, things are slowing down for them as well. Man City win 3-1. Their revival continues again. Man United top of the table by a point. And then we are a further two points behind Arsenal. Spurs are a further three behind us. And Chelsea have actually plummeted down to fifth now. But there's three teams there on 44. The race for the top four is so tight. It's going to go right down to the wire. There are 12 games to go. And we have one more in this episode, which will be against West Bromwich Albion. It's Phillips. Oh, he's gone back the other way. Antonio does well to track with him. That's a lovely ball, though, into Morrison. Waiting for the pass around the outside. And I backed off, and I shouldn't have, because he spun and fired that right into the top corner. We're using Watson in goal now, as we mentioned, and he is two inches taller, but it doesn't matter whether it was Cooper or Watson in goal there. Neither of them was getting to that. I saw the run on the right-hand side of Morrison there, so you saw me back off and try and track with him to avoid him actually getting that pass off for a clean through one-on-one. -on -one. And he actually went away from goal to then work the space to come back towards goal again. See, there's a runner there. You see, I back off there to cover it. And he goes back to the edge of the box, turns around, and then just pings it tops. I mean, what can you do? When someone hits the ball that well, like James Morrison has there, you just have to say, congratulations, my man. We are 1-0 down. There's plenty of time left, though, to turn it around. Here's Trippier into Antonio. Back there to Trippier again. Paradis to Navarrete. In there to Ruben Loftus-Cheek. We slot that through to Greco. It's a good run. I'll pull it back and surely... Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Lozano misses the first attempt but tucks home the second. It's 1-1 after 13 minutes. All of the games in today's episode have been filled with goals. And, I mean, you can understand why I went to that corner because the keeper was coming back across goal. I just didn't place it well enough. But get very fortunate with the way it bounces back to our Honduran striker. Continuing his great goal-scoring season. As he intercepts the ball immediately there as well. Having a fantastic episode, Anthony Lozano. Maybe he can grab another one or two to ensure that we get another good, solid victory. Paredes into Loftus-Cheek. Greco's come short. Will spin. Look to Lozano. Could finesse it home. Oh, Armani making save after save here. This time it didn't rebound back to me. It's a great first touch from Antonio, though. With the ball in. Greco's looking to arrive. I think he may have gotten to that. Or was it Gamboa? It was Gamboa. I'm going to get the corner to come in here. Aiming for Jake clark Salter. Up he goes. Well, he did get to that. But as you can tell from where the balls ended up, wasn't the best of shots. Corner for West Brom after half an hour. James McLean to take it. Does have a decent left-footed delivery. And Jakob actually headed that back there to Callum McManaman. Who always oh, gotten in a nice turn there. And some space is opening up for him. Missed the tackle with Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Get the block in there. But Sebastian Pocognoli draws a good save out of Watson. And to be fair, he palmed that straight back where it came from. And thankfully, we're going to get a goal kick there. He could have palmed that straight back to Pocognoli, who would have had a simpler tap-in as Lozano did with his first, or with our goal in this game so far. So I'm kind of glad that that went straight out for a goal kick there. I thought actually it was going to be a corner, but loftus will just dink this and Navarrete could be in. And he is, Lino Navarrete. Oh, that's beautifully tucked away. He's really stepping up to the plate this season, Lino Navarrete. There were a few people in the comment section in previous se seasons saying that he just wasn't doing enough for me out in a wide position in the 4-4-2. But since we moved him into Cam, he stepped up to the plate. His movement is fantastic. His touch is obviously as good as it possibly could be with 99 dribbling and 99 ball control. And clearly, he can finish the ball into the back of the net quite nicely as well. So Navarrete is turning into one of the best Cams, not only in this league, but in the save. He's 88 rated currently at just, what, 21 years of age? He's clearly going to be... Oh, wow, they nearly equalised immediately. He's clearly going to be my first player to get over 90 rated. He said that he wants to stay now, obviously, after being a little bit unsettled earlier on in the season. And, well, as we got lucky with our first goal, they've gotten lucky with their second. A little nice deflection knocks it back to the man who plays through, Jakob. It's 2-2 after 38 minutes. This is quite a good game. It's really entertaining episode with all the, the chances that are coming in. So got an interception in there, but it just rebounded back to Rondon and then Jakob just slots it home. Fair play. 2-2. We go again. Right. 
two minutes to go. We have a throw in. Let's steal all three points late on, please. McLaren, that's a great turn. The touch is pretty heavy, though. I've got people back in the middle if I can find them. There's a Batlotta. And he's going to have the shot. Rules on target and cause the keeper problems. Armani makes the save. Navarrete to whip the corner in. He's come for it, the keeper. He's punched it well. Who's going to get to that first? Salomon Rondon, unfortunately. Uh, and we're in added time now. And if they're going to catch me on the counter, I'd very much rather avoid conceding at the other end. But we've done well. Still got the ball. And get it in there to Jamie McLaren. Oh, Navarrete just ran offside. I went to play that first time to him. Never mind. Trippier's here. He's got a good crossing here in Trippier. Pocognoli has good blocking as well, apparently. And I think that is probably going to be the end of the game. A 2-2 draw against West Brom where almost everything happened in that first half. But it was still a very entertaining game to play. And we're going to take a point from that one. So seven points from today's uh, three games. Arsenal dropped more points, though, getting a draw away from home against Stoke, who actually were towards the top of, topper and top... I'll try English, shall I? They were towards the top end of the table, weren't they, Stoke? Just outside the Europa League spots, I think. Yeah, there they are in eighth. They've now played 27, though. They're on 39 points. Then you've got West Ham, Everton and Chelsea all on 44. Spurs, 48. Myself, 49. Manchester United, 51 with Arsenal. But United have a game in hand. Our goal difference looks great, though, at the minute. Plus 21, the best in the league. So that's going in our favour. But for now, that's where we'll leave it for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.